SpaceX is getting ready for the fourth trial flight of its Starship Megaship. Very soon, the Starship rocket that will go on this flight had its upper stage, called Ship, placed on top of its first stage booster, called Super Heavy, at SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas. They showed this process in a video and some pictures they shared recently. The Starship stacking is quite a show. Picture a shiny silver rocket towering above sandy dunes near the sea. It's about 400 feet tall, making it the biggest and most powerful rocket ever made by humans. Before this stacking, they tested the Super Heavy and ship separately. SpaceX already fired up the Raptor engines of both vehicles on the launch mount. They did these short tests to check everything's working fine before the actual launch. The first three test flights happened in April 2023, November 2023, and March 14th of this year. Each time, the rocket performed better. In the first flight, the two stages didn't separate properly, cutting the flight short. But by the third flight, they managed almost 50 minutes of flight time, even though the ship broke apart when re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Elon Musk, the head of SpaceX, thinks the fourth flight could happen in just three to five weeks. But there are still some things to sort out. SpaceX wants to change their launch license a bit, and they're waiting for approval from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. This change is because of what happened on the March 14th flight, which is still being looked into. Once SpaceX gets the green light from the Federal Aviation Administration, they'll be good to go. But until then, they're making sure everything is in order. The Starship stacking process itself is a marvel to behold. It's not every day you see a towering rocket being assembled right before your eyes, especially against the backdrop of nature's beauty. The contrast between the mechanical precision of the rocket and the natural landscape of shrub-studded dunes creates a breathtaking scene. Each step forward in the Starship program marks a significant milestone in humanity's quest for space exploration. With every successful test flight, SpaceX inches closer to their ultimate goal of making space travel more accessible and affordable. And with the improvement seen in each launch, it's clear that they're on the right track. As the anticipation builds for the fourth test flight, space enthusiasts around the world eagerly await the next chapter in SpaceX's journey to the stars. With Elon Musk at the helm, there's no telling what groundbreaking achievements lie ahead for the company and the future of space exploration. Boeing's fresh Starliner spaceship's inaugural astronaut journey has been delayed for an extra four days, now set for May 25th. Initially, Tuesday, May 21st, was the aimed date for Starliner's crew flight test, CFT, aimed at ferrying NASA astronauts Suni Williams and Butch Wilmore to the International Space Station, ISS, for a week-long visit. However, NASA disclosed today, May 17th, that the new liftoff target is May 25th. The launch will occur atop a United Launch Alliance, ULA, Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station situated on Florida's space coast. The extension gives teams more time to scrutinize a minor helium leak in the Boeing Starliner spacecraft's service module pinpointed to a flange on a single reaction control system thruster, as per agency officials. The leak came to light earlier this week, leading the mission team to reschedule CFT's launch from today to May 24. Although further examination suggests it's not a major issue, NASA, Boeing, and ULA prefer additional time to evaluate the situation. Pressure testing done on May 15 on the spacecraft's helium system showed the leak in the flange is stable, and would not pose a risk at that level during the flight, the update states. It also assures that the rest of the thruster system is adequately sealed throughout the entire service module. Originally slated for May 6th, the CFT launch was halted hours before liftoff due to a buzzing valve in the Atlas V's upper stage. ULA decided to replace the valve, necessitating moving the Atlas V and Starliner back to an assembly building. This operation delayed the target launch date to today, but the helium leak issue made that date unfeasible. Currently, Starliner and its rocket are in the assembly building, while Williams and Wilmore are in quarantine in Houston. 
they will return to Florida's space coast when the new launch date approaches, according to NASA officials. Boeing designed and is operating Starliner under a $4.2 billion contract awarded by NASA's Commercial Crew Program in 2014. SpaceX, with a $2.6 billion contract, is also in the game, working on its Dragon capsule. While SpaceX is currently undertaking its eighth contracted long-duration astronaut mission to the ISS for NASA, CFT will mark Starliner's maiden crewed voyage, akin to SpaceX's Demo-2 mission in May 2020.